hungry sub. Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I thought I would give a status update on my alt account, the Sa Diablo account, because my adventurous aid plan is about to wear out in a mere 3 hours, and my video recordings are just really really behind in the number I've uploaded. So you can see that the adventurous aid plan ran for me from the 26th to the 13th, which is literally 2 weeks, and it's ending today, the 12th. So what has happened with this account is the following. The amount of something you can do in the first two weeks is quite interesting. So what I've done so far is that I summoned 40 times, which is actually the first pity rate you get, and that got me Tiaris. I then summoned 70 more times, and that's also the second pity rate, and that got me a guaranteed Elwyn. The third pity rate, and from then onwards, the pity rate is 100 summons per SSR for a guaranteed one. So my next, I guess, 100 summons went into this Lantius Yulia Juggler banner. So I got bad luck right away, and I hit the hit pity rate three times in a row. And the third pity rate was on this Lantius Yulia Juggler banner, got me a guaranteed juggler. All right. After that, my luck did change for the positive. Uh, this banner came up yesterday, and I in initially I meant to draw on this banner right away, right? The Make Haste Glorious Imperial General banner. I accidentally drew further on Oath Sworn Summon. And I drew 40 times on this banner and got an SSR. And it gave me Bozo. Right? Not a bad hero. As long as I didn't get a duplicate, I was happy. And fortunately I got Bozo out of these eight. Okay. Ideally it would have been like Ledin or Liana, preferably. But you know what, as long as I got one of these 8 that was not Elwyn or Tiaris, I was happy. And the one I got was Bozo. So... And then after that, I did switch over to drawing on Make Case, Glorious Imperial General, and 30 summons got me Hilda. So in total, I ended up doing 280 summons thus far in the first 2 weeks. And the 280 summons ended up giving me 5 SSRs so far. So the... F Sorry. Yeah, 5 SSRs. So they were Elwyn, Juggler, Tiaris, Bozel, and Hilda. Shuri, of course, is free from the Heroic Journey event, so I have 6 SSRs in total as a result. And I also have 4865 crystals on hand right now, which is actually another 55 summons, which I'm holding on for now. In the Secret Realm, I was able to actually fully farm the Sakura Strike Force event and pick up every single reward in it. It took me, I think, 8 days of doing the auto battles. So what I did was I used Continuous Battle to farm 20 battles of it, the level 35 versions of the map. But that was enough to give me the, all the items I needed to get all the exchange rewards. So that was definitely a huge power boost for this account. Um, in terms of dailies, I was able to actually get really, really far in them. Like the Anikis, I've cleared the level 45 versions of now. What's ironic is I actually realized I actually wanted to kill, clear the level 40s. Like I was sweeping the level 40s consistently rather than clearing the level 45s because I need the silver books. More than gold books, more than SSR books. What's priority for me is the silver box. I screwed up a few times where I meant to do the level 41 and did 45. So it definitely cost me some silver items, which is a shame because it's only during these, the Adventure 8's plan only kicks in for the first two weeks. And this is when you get the daily challenge reward increase. So swooping the wrong one definitely prevented me from upgrading some of my training grounds as much as I could have. Like for example, if I had actually sweep like even today, I accidentally sweeped the higher level one once. And if I had actually sweeped the proper lower level one, I would have been able to unlock the core defense um, text enough to have the resources to upgrade it. So I currently need something like, I think this needs something like 8, 12, 8, 10, and 12, which is 30 silver books. And then you need a few more silver books here in order to unlock this tech, which is his gold books, and then that's when you can get angels and gargoyles. And so these were the soldiers I was kind of aiming for. 
don't have access to them right now. And I'm actually not entirely sure I need to aim for them because I don't even use Leon. <laughs> Looking at this now. But yeah, so... But overall, this training ground is pretty decently upgraded. Um, because it's my highest level 1 at level 12. So the three training grounds I'm focusing on is the Flyer one, the Holy and Demon one, and then I have a choose between Infantry and Archer and Assassin. Right now, I'm favoring Archer and Assassin. So those are the three that I'm actually oriented towards right now, which may or may not be a good idea, especially since Elwyn, right in the early stages, uses Infantry. So that's something I also have to keep in mind. Like, I should keep the infantry reasonably upgraded because of Elwyn. So that's why I'll do a few upgrades of the various techs here. So, but bit by bit, I'm... Oh, one other thing is I plan to upgrade heavy infantry instead of mass maids. Because heavy infantry is shared with a lot more characters than mass maids are. Mass maids are primarily used by Elwyn, Ledin. Those are the two primary users. I suppose you can say Yulia too, but uh, most of the others, there's not enough users of mass maids over a win over the heavy infantry to make me prefer them. You can see a huge, a much longer list of characters who can use heavy inf infantry. So that's probably the only soldier I'm going to build in this training ground. Like I actually don't plan to build any other soldier in the infantry training ground at all. So. That's why there's going to be limited resources in inventory overall, and I'd rather do the Archer and Assassin. Okay, next then is, but yeah, in terms of, yeah, Anikis, level 45s are mostly cleared. Dragons, level 45 are mostly cleared as well. So I am very much rapidly leveling up, going through all of these fights. Uh, timeless Trial, for this week, I was able to clear to the B rank. So that meant I did D, D+, C, and C+. So the first four are done. B, B+, A, A+, S, S, those ones, I have to level up to keep up. Okay. Account level is 43, which means my characters are level 44, or actually... I can raise them to level 44, is what I should be saying. Let's do so now. And this was a... Actually, this literally just happened just now. So this new level is definitely a new thing. That's why I haven't leveled up my characters yet, as a result of that. And I am missing... I could definitely use more... Um, experience potions though that's for sure so my core party is all level 44 I have a whole bunch of characters at level 35 and 30 that were kind of used for a bit and then abandoned or were used leveled up because I wanted to do their gates of fate the first one or two so that's why I have so many heroes leveled up like this but my core party is just these five at the top Jessica, Elwyn, Juggler, Freya, and Tiaris. One huge, absolutely huge limitation on my party that I realize I'm going to encounter very soon is a bonding issue. Okay. To be specific, for example, Juggler is the only one whose bonds I have all unlocked. Right? Because she, he's, his bonds are easy. He needs SR heroes for them. Sophia for the fourth bond and Lifany for the fifth. But all my other heroes are in are encountering major problems. So Elwyn needs Hein, who I don't have, and needs Liana, who I don't have. So in a lot of ways, my Elwyn is going to be capped very, very soon because he can't level up his bonds any further. So his out damage output is going to be capped soon enough. Tiaris, her healing output will also be capped because her final bond needs the Hurtle. Right? 
and her toughness bond needs to get out of Layla. I can probably get by without the toughness bond. It'll be tough, but I think I can get by without it. But the heart doll will be kind of an issue. Shuri, I don't use her, so. She, but she needs Keith for the fourth and Hein for the fifth, and I currently am missing Hein once again. So it's a weird situation. All right. Hopefully, I'll pick up Hein soon enough as I draw more. Freya as well. Now, Freya is one of those characters that she needs the Hearthel for her fifth bond too. Now, with that said, given that I tend to rely on her for fixed damage, you can function with her with just the first four. And the fourth bond is unlocked with Dios's help after all. So I can function like this with the first four with her. So I can kind of ignore that. I can unlock, and since this bond unlocks with hero reaching level 55 and total bond power reaching level 35, I'm pretty sure I can make Freya work. It's more a question of, do I want to continue to use Freya with Juggler together? We'll see. Okay. And then the, my last hero that I'm using right now is Jessica. Jessica, hilariously enough, she needs Igbert. And I don't have Igbert either. So I'm missing a whole bunch of the SR heroes. I need Igbert and Hein. <laughs> To continue to uh, bond and lock some of these heroes. Weird situation, that's for sure. Bozel, by comparison, needs Igbert too. So that's why I keep saying I need Igbert and Hein. Okay. And Bozel's a character where you don't really need the fifth bond, although the fifth bond is unlocked by Ferrakia. You don't need it because he doesn't use int, right? His intelligence is based on his magic defense value. And finally, last but not least, is the Hilda that I got. Well, Hilda needs Werner and Florentia. I don't really plan to build up Hilda, not for quite some time, so we can safely ignore that. I Most likely, I'm going to be using the current heroes that I have up here for some time. Freya is more of the question mark, though, because I'm not going to farm up her shards, and using a 3-star tank in the long run, well, she's going to hit 4 stars, but using even a 4-star tank in the long run may not be wise. So we'll see about that. Maybe, like, I'm going to have to figure out something to do. But right now, shard farming plans is Elwyn and Tiaris with what, a tiny bit of juggler. So very likely... It may end up with me using Juggler as my primary tank soon. And, and then uh, we'll work from there. So Hilda may end up just sitting around in my hero list for a long, long time, which is unfortunate. I'd like to build her up, but at the end of the day, you can only really build up three heroes at a time. And right now, my, my priority is Tiaris, Elwyn, and probably Juggler. So these three. But my tank choice may change. Like, uh, I don't have to finalize my tank choice yet. When I'm doing four runs of Elwyn and four runs of Tiaris, one run of Juggler each day is almost nothing. So if I get another tank, I may switch away from Juggler instead. So, for example, if I get Leaden as my tank, as in particular, I may switch to playing Protagonist. So what would I end up with? I would have Elwyn, I would have Ledin, I would have Tiaris for the third, so that's one, two, three. I would use Matthew as my faction buffer, so that's four. Right? One, two, three, four. And then I may use Almeda or Chris as my fifth. So I suspect that is what may happen. That I switch to playing protagonist. And then maybe I switch so there is still the chance of getting either Ledin or Landius as my tank instead. And that would avoid the whole issue of not having Dihartel for a while. So that is my current plan, to switch to playing Protagonist instead of my current Origins of Light faction. But it was interesting going up the early game stages with Origins of Light, I have to say. Oh yeah. Final thing, let's go over my gear. Um, so Jessica, she has probably my best set right now. A level 40 blue moon, 
a level 40 truth pendant, and then a green leaf crown and goddess dress for some survivability and hit points. Right? Using Jessica, I was able to basically have her solo kill the ice dragon, and that's based on her extremely high intelligence score for now. Elwyn is basically my character to solo kill the Thunder Dragon right now. So, and he he just brings Eternal Light, Roar, and Detect to do so. I feel like I should probably Runestone him. He's probably the character I really need to Runestone. Um, eventually, I'd like to get access to Crush for extra attack, but a runestone, a lack of runestone is just the issue. So most likely I'm going to put my runestones into Elwyn, but I'm holding on to them because I may also want them for my tank instead. Right? If Elwyn can kind of function as a DPS without needing the runestones, then I'd rather put them into my tank first before going back to building Elwyn. Gear-wise, he's right now kind of running a odd set. He has a Nighthawk that I'm steadily raising up to level 40 because I rolled a 15% attack roll on it. It was ridiculous, but rolled that really, really early on Elwyn and Fuss. Actually, because I picked up these epic... Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. So Because I picked up these epic crafter's hammers, I can raise that up right now. So he has a level 40 Nighthawk. He has, the rest of his gear is a little bit odd, right? There's a carbon fiber helmet at level 20 out of 30 because I picked up two carbon fiber armors. The dragon scale helmet is for survivability, of course, with some hit points. And then a pair of speed boots, just because um, I find mobility is the biggest issue when using Elwyn. So that's Elwyn's gear. I'm just wondering if I should put resources into upgrading the carbon fiber, but uh, we'll see. Juggler is using a level 30 last night. Once again, I got two of them. Right? There was one that you get uh, normally, and then I got a second one when I was doing a weapon gamble. So this is a cavalry juggler, and it's been ridiculously effective. Right? He's been functioning... I put runestones into him, a lot of them. So he just needs one final rinse on the Hydra, and all his classes are unlocked. Right. And yeah, Juggler has been stupidly effective for me. As a faction buffer, as having the one range guard skill, and having battle cry. So his one range guard skill, interestingly enough, has a 30% chance to dispel one buff effect from the enemy before battle, for what it's worth. And overall, I've been using him to tank hits from infantry enemies when necessary. He has the Bone Dino Soldiers for increased attack value. And yeah, with Tiaris' attack blessing, he has generally been able to one-shot enemies that he attacks. So it's been an interesting combo, that's for sure. And also, having Juggler around means that Freya doesn't always need to bring her faction buff. Or doesn't need to faction buff right away, so she can get... She can activate Lance Phallix and have Juggler faction buff. Freya's set of gear is all level 30. Um, there, except, uh, yeah, Aeneas' helmet at level 30. A Mithra armor at level 30 that needs to be raised to level 40. An amulet also at level 30. And then a Blood Lance at level 30. So she, as my tank, even with just level 30 gear, she's been very successful. She, especially with TRS, once again, healing light providing some re, uh, required healing when necessary. And of course, Tieris, she has the 60% chance to restore hit points equals to three times her intelligence score. Currently running a crystal enchant set, and I was able to pick up an angel feather early, which gives healing effect and hit points to her. So overall, and oh, of course, the Sage's Hat has been absolutely cl absolutely clutch. Got this super early, and the fact that it can negate both stun, buff block, and speed decrease durations for one turn makes her amazing when comboed with your tank. Right? Move your tank, then move Tiaris next to it, 
they can't be mobility debuffed, which is the hard counter to ram and so on. I know some people have been using Lifini for the same thing. Uh, Lifini has a one point skill, magic defense support, which does the same effect. Right? After taking action, magic defense, one nearby friendly unit, increases by 20% and grants immunity to stun, mobility reduction, and buff block. Lasts one turn. So you could use someone like Lifini to do the same thing as the Sage's Hat. But if you have the Sage's Hat, then you don't have to bring that. Even Jessica has the same skill, as a side note. But then, in the case of Jessica, it's different between being able to bring Windblade and being forced to bring Magic Defense support. So that's why I'm super glad I got that Sage's Hat early. You could get around without it, but why, get, why go without an extra one point skill when you don't have to? And I think those are my five primary characters overall. So you can see I, I am using quite a few SR items. Right? But uh, there are some SSR mixed in for utility as required. I have two other kind of semi-built sets. Uh, one is Silver Wolf, level 20, level 20, level 10. No, the gear really is not properly upgraded. It's more here because I feel like I would eventually build up an archer set. Right. And then the other set is Almeda, who has a level 30 Sage's Staff with level 10s for the rest. So this Sage's Staff was actually Jessica's primary gear until I got the Blue Moon, of course. Once I got one copy of Blue Moon, I have put two Epic Martial Spirits into it, raising it to level 40. But yeah, and Almeda is reasonably usable in this kind of state. I've brought her to a few battles already. So, yeah. The one thing I would like to replace, though, is definitely de replace the Devout Crown with another Sage's Hat, probably, if I get one. And other than that, yeah, that's pretty much my current gear status. Final thing worth mentioning is, in the store, I already find myself with more Mithril Ore than I need. All right. I've been purchasing the 10 special enchant packs every day, purchasing SR headgear and purchasing SR armor. But I've already have 1800 Mithril Lore on hand. And that's with me buying rare martial spirits too. So it's not like I'm not purchasing things that I need, it's I am purchasing things I need, but you're already mostly capped out on the Mithril Lore. That may change to be fair, right? Now that the Adventurous A plan is gone, I am going to be getting less rewards from the Dragon Trials. So that's going to lead to less um, SR items, stuff like that. So it might be that I'm going to run into a shortage of Mithril Ore soon, but right now, no problems at all. The Ore Column Ore will be the real problem. But right now, I've been able to do my three weapon gambles every week and do some Epic Martial Spirit purchases. So I haven't, so I do think the privilege of plus one dragon runs every day. So I think that's Flag of Courage, right? Plus one dragon runs every day, plus one enemy runs every day. I think this privilege is probably the best value you can possibly get, especially for early game, if you're willing to put money into an account. This being my alt account, I'm probably just gonna skip it. But I would say the Clock of Forgiveness and the Flag of Courage are absolutely amazing. Gift of the Goddess is more of a nice to have, right? But for seven Canadian dollars, you would get like 1800 crystals per month. It's actually pretty good. But these two in particular are amazing. But I don't really wanna put $10 or $15 a month into an alt account, so we'll neglect it. But uh, if I did, I think it would make a huge difference for this alt account and power grinding. Okay, so that covers like my current status and everything. I'm on the verge of hitting, as I said, I'm on the verge of hitting level 45. As soon as I do, I have enough of the guild medals, like since I'm sitting on 20,000 of them, I'll be able to just buy the resources to upgrade my heroes. So I'm looking forward to that as well. But that should happen next week, not this one. There are two other things I should talk about with this account, and they are linked to the upcoming predicted banner schedule for Global. Right? We're currently in the week of March 11th to March 18th, so the Werner and Hilda banner just came out. Right? It, 
In general, this account is not going to be focused on these new major update heroes. I may draw for them, like for example I just drew for, drew for Hilda, but in general what my focus is on this account is absolutely to draw on these kind of banners, Destiny Summons instead. Okay. So in particular, what I see right now for the rest of this month is there's going to be a Sigma and Zerida banner and there's very little reason for me to draw on it because I, well, if I get Zerida, it would be amazing, but if I get Sigma, it would be kind of meh. I may draw for it, but no guarantees there, right? The banner after that is Lambda, Gizarov, and Young Jessica. That one I'm going to draw on for sure to try to get, in hopes of getting just Young Jessica. Um, if I get Lambda and Gizarov, they're actually going to be garbage heroes for me, but if I get Young Jessica, it's going to be amazing for this account. After that, though, is the more important banner for me, Ledin, Rachel, Alte, Muller. And that's the one where I could potentially get led in. So I talked about how I really would like to change to a protagonist tank, like Ledin or Landius. My highest chance of getting Ledin is probably on this banner, Ledin, Rachel, Alte, Muller. Right. Um, Himiko and Wataru is next, and that's kind of a meh banner for me once again. We'll see, but my impression is it's not important to me. Rainforest and Sage of the Trees is also not important for me. Um, Helena, Elusia, and Lustral is one that I'm probably going to skip. So in April, I see a lot of banners that I'm likely going to skip. Okay. Elwyn, Leon, and Bernhard is one I really need to draw on, for sure. Because right? it guarantees me either Leon or Bernhard, since I started with Elwyn. So that's a must draw. Kruger and Vincent was previously useless. Now that I have Bozel, unintentionally, but I do have Bozel, I may draw on this for one of them. All right. Florentia and Betty is a tough one. If I can get Florentia on this, then I have a usable Hilda. Right? But Betty is mostly useless. So most likely I'll try to draw for one and see what happens. Shalinka, Subame, Angelina, skip. Flat out. Good. Pretty heroes, not using any of them. Bozo, Liana, Luna, another must draw. Right? Especially I need to hope I get Liana, because uh, that would unlock Elwyn's bond. If I, I would be getting either Liana or Luna off of this banner, and Liana and Luna are both top tier, so at the end of the day, this is a must draw. Now that I got Bozo, especially. But even if I didn't get Bozo, I would have drawn on this banner 100%. Patsir and Toa will be a wait and see as well because I might, maybe, pets here. <laughs> right. Clotaire Wilder, skip. Emilia, Rosenseal, Licorice, probably skip. Um, and Rachel, Lana, Tieris will be one of the, another priority banner for me, since it guarantees Rachel or Lana. Yeah. So then we move on to the month of July. And July is where it starts getting crazy, because Banner after banner of top tier heroes. Lord of Crimson and Sissy White, I'll probably skip, but there is Luna and De Hartle, which is a couple's banner, as well as Rosalia and Werner, another couple's banner. So Rosalia and Werner can actually guarantee me the Werner to unlock Hilda's bonds, which once again goes back to this whole Florentia Betty banner. If I can get Florentia on this banner, I'm probably going to use Hilda as my tank, right? Or as one of my tanks. So I might end up with, let's say, Ledin and Hilda as my tanks, potentially. So fingers crossed there. There is going to be some luck elements involved in figuring out who my tank is. If I get Ledin, amazing. If I don't, you know, I have to hope I get Florentia. So my tank, the tank of choice for my party keeps getting pushed back, in other words. In, um, and then so going continuing on so Werner I can get a guaranteed one for Florentia purposes Rosalia is a pretty darn good hero as well so I can get that and Luna and De Harto basically I'm going to for sure get all four heroes from these couples banners on this alt account right and the banner here with Young Jessica, Light of Genesis and Akaya I'm going to draw for as well right? I mentioned how I really want Young Jessica Right. If I get Young Jessica and Light of Genesis here, 
this account is just <laughs> perfect. Right? Akayo would be the character I don't want. But uh, we'll wait and see. Then there's a whole bunch of other banners there. A rerun of Landius Yulia Juggler. So I got Juggler, this would guarantee a Landius or Yulia. Right? There's a Geralt and Layla, Mystery Knight and Lucia banner. <laughs> I would want Geralt and Layla on this. Brenda and Nariel I'll probably skip, especially since I really do want the two heroes on this banner. Senator Ryo and Lady Ka Kiyura. So you can see it's like, oh man, it's just a nightmare in terms of the banner draws for the month of July. Like banner after banner that I want. Rachel Leonard Harris. Then both of these couple banners. Then this young Jessica Light of Genesis banner. Then probably Landius Yulia Juggler banner. Then the uh, collaboration banner. So banner after banner after banner of good heroes. So uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do this the month of July. Which is why I'm. it might be that I have to save up for a very long time. Right? So... It might be for the month of June, I barely pull after Bozo, Liana, Luna. And I think that is the case right now, right? Petsir Toa, I'm, I'm probably going to skip. Clotaire Wilder, I'm skipping. Emilia Rosenseal, Licorice, I'm probably skipping. Simply because of this banner here. Although, Emilia Rosenseal, Licorice, I may draw for. Right? It's just, all three heroes could be useful. Right? Emilia is, another, is once again a tank. Rosenseal is just really really good for pvp purposes and so on and licorice would be the character i don't want but if i have bozel with licorice that's actually okay too so we'll see so for a more detailed chart of the current status of my bond unlocking on this account matthew pretty much naturally unlocks it as long as you increase intimacy so he is done all right all meta actually needs to help shuri complete her memory seven okay, so her gate of fate seven that is perfectly fine, and I'm not in a rush to do it, but uh, it's something I have to keep in mind. So that's why I have it highlighted in pink. In purple are ones that I have done, but just haven't increased the intimacy to pick it up. So for example, Grenier, I've done five arena battles in. So he's he can get that one as soon as I increase his intimacy, but he's pretty low priority for intimacy increases. Right? Shuri... She currently needs to complete her memory 6 with Keith's help. And I need to complete her memory 7 with Hein's help. All right. So, you know, Elwyn, need Hein, need Liana, don't have either. Juggler, this one is actually done now. So I can probably just paint the format into here to say that one's done. So I just need to pick up, increase his uh, intimacy further to pick up the final one. And Tieris, until I get Girl and Layla and Tiharto, this is completely locked. And these two, I probably will not be able to get until July. So three and a half months away. When their when their dates of fate or sorry, when their higher chance banners come up. Iris is in a situation where I could unlock one of them if I so wish. Could probably pick up another one when I class her up. But a lot of the high priority there. Chris, I've queued up enough to get two of them. Freya, I have her up to picking up her fourth bond, which just needs intimacy to get. And you can see like a whole bunch of the SR heroes are in the same state. I do not have Egbert or Hein at this time. So that's so that's a big, big flaw. But I do have all the other I think I have all the other heroes that I've listed here like Imelda I've, I might not have Vargas either not in, not entirely sure about that I don't think I've seen Vargas in my amongst my heroes so there are it looks like I'm missing four heroes on this list no Egbert no Hein no Vargas and no Sonya so those are the four that I'm currently missing of those four, the only ones I really need right now is Igbert and Hein for bond unlocks. The rest, you know, if I don't get Vargas and I don't get Sonya anytime soon, that's fine. No. 
I, I don't plan to rely on SR heroes, except for maybe Freya right now. So that's the SR hero status. As for the rare hero status, there were a bunch of heroes that also needed win five times in arena. I've done those heroes already. So Leticia, Roga, Liardo, and Pierre. The interesting thing is there's a whole bunch that can be used for bond unlocks or what, and so on. Right? For example, Jessica, I need Lester's help to complete her... Uh, I need to help Lester complete his Gate of Fate 4. Right? Lester also needs Keith for his Gate of Fate 4. So that's why I was struggling with that battle. I had to use less I had to use Lester, Jessica, and Keith. And I just couldn't clear it with those three. So maybe once my Jessica is leveled up even further, like maybe once Jessica is at level 55 or something, I can go back to that. And hopefully there'll be a 15 or sorry, 18 Data Fate event then to easily pick up the feats. Um as soon as I get Igbert, I'll probably help Igbert complete Memory 5 with Jessica as well, so that she's improved further. Aaron and Cherie both have interesting ones. Theirs are help Cherie complete Memory 5 and help Cherie complete Memory 7. So given that Memory 5 and Memory 7 both give Cherie shards, as soon as there's an 18th Gate of Fate event, I'm definitely going to do that. Right? That way Cherie that way I can unlock bonds and get shards of Shuri. Win-win right? situation. Get them both done. So when the next uh, 15 Gate of Fate event comes, I know what I'm doing there. And the last one that I kind of need to do is Pierre's Help Juggler Complete Memory 5. That one I'm not in a rush to do. I, I don't think I've even done Juggler's feats on his Gate of Fate 5 yet. I've just got them to clear because it was a level 45 map. But uh, once again, once I hit level 55, level 60, and the battle becomes a joke, that's when I'll probably bring Pierre to get an easy clear and get an extra feat done. And the others that are here are just, they involve heroes I don't have yet, right? Hein, Liana, Leon, you know, Silverwolf and Dihartol, Kirikaze and Luna, that kind of stuff. Oh, I should probably highlight these too. Now that I look at it, right. keep these ones in mind. Maybe I'll make another color. So, because these three in particular can probably be done. So maybe I'll find a new color for them and just highlight it like orange or whoops, text in orange rather. Right. And then I can say like orange text is uh, keep in mind kind of thing. So paint that there and paint that over here. So there we go. So the rest of them, until I unlock the heroes, I won't need to consider, but you can see that there's a whole bunch of ones that I could do I'll probably add more heroes into this list as I get them, but right now, this is how it looks. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video interesting. And on that note, Nitro out.